Welcome to Community Arts at Home. Today, we're going to look at the work of Jean-Michel Basquiat and make some of his crowns. Jean-Michel Basquiat was an American artist born in 1960 in Brooklyn, New York. He is known for his raw, gestural style of painting. He incorporated graffiti-like images into his work as well as text. He created highly expressionistic work, mainly stylized self-portraits, and he mixed themes from African, Caribbean, Aztec, and Hispanic cultures into his works. In the late 1970s, his work began to receive notice from the art world. Although he lacked any formal art training, his career skyrocketed and Basquiat became a celebrity. The crown started to appear in his work in 1981 and became a frequent symbol used. The symbol was used to portray his ambition to become great as well as to acknowledge the people who influenced him. Today we're going to be making our own crowns and be inspired by the style of work that Basquiat created. So let's check out what supplies we'll need and get started. First, we're going to need a piece of cardboard and we'll also need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a couple markers and a glue stick. You'll also need some scrap paper. I just had some decorative paper lying around, so I'm going to use that. You'll also need a couple colors of washable paint. And I'm using slick sticks here, but if you have crayons, those work just as well. We're also going to need a paintbrush to apply our paint. And we're going to need some yarn or string to attach to our crowns. Okay, let's get started. The first step is we're going to draw our crown using one of the markers on uh, our piece of cardboard. Step is to cut out our crown using our scissors. This might be a little bit tricky, so you can ask an adult. And then we're going to poke two holes on either side of our crown. This is going to be to attach our yarn or our string. So if you're going to do this by yourself, be careful and maybe you can ask an adult to help you. Okay, our next step, we're going to grab our glue stick and we're going to um, glue on just some scraps of paper. The reason we're doing this is just to add some dimension to our crown, so we're adding different layers. So go ahead, add some glue, and just rip up some of your scrap paper um, and attach it. Like I said, I had some decorative paper, but if you have a newspaper or magazine that you can rip up and glue on, you can use that too. All right, that's looking really good. The next step is I'm gonna grab my markers um, and also my slick sticks or my crayons. And I'm just gonna start filling in some areas with some color. You'll notice that I'm going over the paper, um, which is fine, cause that just adds another layer to give this crown, make it look a little interesting. Um, and when you're doing these colors, it's okay that if you like scribble them on. Um, it just gives more movement to the flat color we're putting on here. All right, now that I have a lot of crayon and marker on there, I'm gonna get my paints out. Um, and you can see I am not really doing a lot of painting. I'm just kind of dabbing some colors on where I think it'll help make the crown pop. All 
All right, our last step um, is kind of let your crown dry a little bit if you have a lot of paint on there. And then we're gonna attach our yarn or our string. So I'm gonna put a knot in one end of the string or the yarn, and then I'm gonna pull it from the front to the back um, to attach my piece of yarn. Once I get one through, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So then, once my crown is totally dry, I can wrap it around and tie it in the back. And there you go. Now you have your very own crown in the style of Jean-Michel Basquiat. Hope you guys enjoyed the project and we'll see you next week.